Today I'd like to demo the multi-viewer feature in Geobox G901, which is single channel true 4K output controller. Here you can see the box are equipped with 5 inputs, 3 HDMI 2.0, and 2 display ports. I have all 3 HDMI inputs connected today. The first HDMI input comes from the laptop. Over there. The second HDMI comes from Apple TV. Over there. And the third one comes from Nintendo Switch Game Player. Because Geobox is a software-free solution, you can utilize any digital input device and configure image in real time. The box process all these input signals. An output is one true 4K signal to the Sony TV. I am using the remote controller to configure and control the box and do not need any PC software. I firstly launch the OSD menu. Then I go to the PIP setting. Firstly, we need to choose the display layout. There are various types of layout you can select from the OSD. They are picture in picture, side by side, top to bottom, four types of three split view, and two types of four split view. Let's check the first type of three split view. Now, the laptop signal is showing on the left in full screen. The Apple TV on the top right, and Switch game on the lower right. Let's go back to the display setting menu and choose another layout. This is another type of 3 split view with laptop signal on the top and Apple TV on the lower left, the Switch game on the lower right. This is 3 split side by side. This is 3 split top to bottom. The bottom signal from Switch game now is displayed in original aspect ratio. Aspect ratio of each view can be defined individually. All views can be set at original or full screen or even in any specific aspect ratio through overlap adjustment. Let me show you how to select different aspect ratio for each view. Firstly, I go to PIP menu. Then go to source and define on which signal source I want to apply the aspect ratio change. Now, the middle view, which is the signal from Apple TV. The aspect ratio is changed to original. For the top view, because it's the main image, I go to main menu and adjust the aspect ratio into original. Next, I would like to show you for main and each sub image. By adjusting the overlap of each edge, you can crop the image or set it in different aspect ratio. Here, I take the signal from Apple TV as an example, I can get rid of the black bars by decreasing the overlap value of the top and bottom edge. Then, I go to overlap menu to adjust the overlap value of both top and bottom edges. When I reduce the overlap value, less image will be shown, so it's equal to the effect of zoom in. On the other hand, by increasing overlap value, bigger image area is cropped, so it's equal to the effect of zoom out. Here. You can see I reduce the overlap of top edge by 188 pixels. The black bar on the top of original image then is cropped. Then. I reduce the overlap also for the bottom edge, so the black bar at the bottom can be cropped. The image now is stretched vertically. In order to correct the distortion, I am going to stretch the image horizontally by reducing overlap of left and right edges. By reducing overlap of four edges, I can crop and zoom the image. Orientation of each window can be adjusted. You can rotate the image in 90 
180, 270 degree flip or mirror the image. For example, I am rotating the image in 90 degree now. Under the mode of picture in picture, you can change the size of sub image and position it to any place on the screen. For example, like this. I can move the sub image downward and more to the right. I can also make it bigger. Last, I want to introduce the profile saving function. You can save these customized settings as profile, then switch among profiles using remote controller hotkey. There can be up to five profiles saved into the box. For example, I can save this PIP setting as profile one. Then, I change the layout into three split view and save it as profile two. And I change the layout again into another type of three split view. Then save it as profile three. Then I want to make the profile four with the view from Apple TV showing original image without cropping and an original aspect ratio. So I firstly reset the overlap. Then I go to aspect ratio setting and change it to original. And I save the setting as into profile 4. Now, I can use the remote controller and select the profile I need. For example, I can change the setting into profile 2 which is the 3 split view. Then, I can change the setting into 3 split top to bottom with original aspect ratio by selecting profile 4. Thanks for watching. If you want to know more about Geobox G9014K output controller, please visit our website or contact our sales representative. See you in the next video.